Hey, hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Welkner here from CoinOp TV, playing some Skylander Swap Force. And I want to, in this video, I want to show you the difference between regular Bumble Blast and Jolly Bumble Blast. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little quick comparison video. Now, I made a blog, a little video blog, also a vlog earlier showing what the figure looks like but now I want to show you the gameplay and in addition to that I already put up the Skylanders 101 Bumble Blast showing all his different powers so I'm not going to show all his different powers in this video and I'll put all those links in the description below hopefully you can check them out but here's regular Bumble Blast he's all leveled up um, you can see he looks like a fearsome Skylander he's got these little bees he could shoot out and spit some gobs of honey <laughs> drop some little uh, little bombs there and kind of push around. Okay, so I'm going to take regular Bumble Blast off the portal power. You see what he looks like here. He looks he's like a tree with honey, a crazy looking tongue. I got the Corchester hat on him, so that's not normal. He doesn't come with the, the Corchester hat. So now I'm going to drop on Jolly Bumble Blast. We'll show you the difference here. Here's his intro. Perfect All right, awesome. So now Jolly Bumble Blast looks, you know, sort of like Santa Claus, right? He's got the the white <laughs> the white chin there, you know, like a Santa's beard, and it actually comes with his own hat. So when you get Jolly Bumble Blast, you get the Jolly Hat unlocks in your game, and you can put that hat on different characters. So that's pretty cool. I think that's something new for Skyland and Swap Force. I don't remember in the last game having characters unlock hats. So, you know, let me know in the comments below if that was actually the case or not. So here's what he looks like, and he's got his little bees going. And I can shoot out the same same weapon types. And for the for this one, what I did is I actually leveled up a different path. I leveled up his uh his honey path a bit and I wanted to go over here and show you what he looks like with some of his armor um, kind of upgraded as well I figured like let me start thanks Gorm sorry I'm talking over your Gorm there so here's what he looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the see here I was going with the the bottom path on this one so I'm gonna do the honeycomb bark armors increased bark skin will sometimes drip out so I, I think this will change the look a little bit so I thought let me let me wait before I upgrade him there's the jolly bumble blast hat you can see on his head right there all right I guess it doesn't really look different I thought maybe his bark would look different it's, it's supposed to sort of drip drip out some you know honey there some globs of honey while I'm walking <laughs> all right let's see here um now, no video would be complete without showing me taking on some bad guys, part of me. And uh, I think what I'm going to try and do is a little challenge or something here. I haven't really started doing all the challenge videos yet, so... Ray, you saved us all, Skylander. This calls for a right and proper celebration. <laughs> As my grandpappy always said, no sense hanging the streamers if you can't come to the party. Now, just because chaos is gone is no reason to let up on your training. The arena is still open for business and lots of challenging left for you to do. All right, so let's do an arena challenge with Jolly Bumble Blast here. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I haven't really been going nuts on the arena challenges yet. Just been kind of working on my Skylander 101s and some of the other gameplay videos cranking those out okay so we're gonna use jolly bumble blast and this should be a pretty easy arena challenge attack enemies to fill your multiplier meter fill your meter to raise your multiplier defeat enemies and grab loot turn points getting hit lowers your multiplier now with uh, bumble blast he has got a pretty fast um attack there and his bees will kind of swarm around arena and take out bad guys just all over the screen so cage master you'll see he's pretty strong i recommend picking up so now you have two options you can get bumble blast with the fiery forge pack or you can just get regular jolly bumble blast in a single pack ready three two one fight 
All right. Stage one. Stage one. Buzz off. Bring it on. Okay, let me free. Free up some of these dudes here. <laughs> Those guys will help me help take out some of the chompies. So many enemies. <laughs> so many enemies. So little time. You can see uh, his honey attack in action. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the uh, throwing out the. Oh, gotta grab this here. His second attack, that, eh, it's it's there and it works. But if I had any complaint about Bumble Blast's attacks, I'd probably want to somehow change that a bit. Maybe maybe give him like a little bit of a speed boost or something like. Um, you know, since, like, Swarm is kind of like a B character, you can, well, so Swarm's like a B character, Jolly Boss uses Bs, so it's a little different, but it would have been kind of cool to maybe have it so the Bs can maybe carry Bumble Blast a bit or something, so you can kind of go faster. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, the Skylanders games, they've given us so much freedom already. It's like when I do kind of, you know, bring up something like this. It's very minor. I'm, I'm very happy with the characters, the games. Whoop, oh, I got to get this guy running around. He's got the got the Core Jester hat on there. Dropped some food. food thief is escaping. Get out of there, food thief. Oh, yeah. He gets some of his food back. Stage two. Multiplier must be maxed out. Yeah, 10. I, I don't think anybody's actually hit me. So that's nice. Buzz off. Well, these chompies are a little more dangerous. <laughs> Level up. More power. Haha, -ha, jumped over you, chompy. Thought you could explode on me. You can see that Jolly Bumble Blast is pretty good to use in one of these arena challenges because. His little bees will kind of swarm around just about anywhere for you. Alright, the crowd is cheering. This is my favorite part of the levels when the crowd starts cheering my name. Bomba Blast. Oh no, I got a spell punk over here. Haha, <laughs> spit some goo on you. I think there may be an achievement or something for doing a challenge without taking any damage. You know, I don't know if I don't know if anybody's hit me yet. Oh, let me take out the spell punk up here. <laughs> this stage is just about done. Yeah. My my thought is to take out the uh, enemies with projectile weapons because see I can outrun. I can outrun that guy there. See my my gob of honey ricocheted off of him there. Oh, I took damage right at the end there. Oh, I think that was the first first damage I got. Stage. Stop the food thief before he escapes. Oh, you're mine, food thief. <laughs> the food thief is escaping. Well, I was doing pretty good. I was I I was getting a little caught up in in things there. I was kind of hoping maybe to get that. Cages have appeared. Hopefully, I think there is some sort of achievement. Let me know in the comments below if there's some sort of achievement for the not taking damage in an arena challenge. This this first challenge would definitely be the one to try that on because it's it's not the craziest difficulty-ish. That's a word. <laughs> Bumble blast. 
Okay, let's go over here and get this little power up. Oh, that gave me a little speed boost. See, look at how fast <laughs> Bumble Blast is running now. So that'd be cool if the bees can kind of like pick him up and carry him like that around as like one of his uh, other attacks. Power Blast! Fighting. Oh, spell punk. Is that an undead spell punk? Or I'm gonna forget which spell punks are which. I know the green one is like a life spell punk. You guys wanna surround me? That's okay. I'm just gonna drop some honey on you and stun you guys. Drop some bombs on your face. Uh, bomb on your face. Gonna eat this burger over here. Oh yeah, that's a life spell punk over there. So many enemies. So little time. I'm feeling confident. So the shield guys, you gotta wait till they drop their guard. You gotta kind of sucker them into trying to attack you. Drop your guard. Try and attack me. Congratulations! Congratulations. Uh, my elemental went up. Alright. Portal Master ranking went up. 17. Uh, let's see. Accolades. Yeah, there's. I think there's some sort of thing with not getting hit or, or something. So... Um, anyway, so that was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching some, um, let's go back to Woodboro, some of Jolly Bumble Blast gameplay. And like I said, I already did a Skylanders 101 for regular Bumble Blast, showing all of his uh, abilities and doing some fighting. And I did a um, sort of a video where I'm showing the packaging, what the Jolly Bumble Blast figure looks like. So I got him at GameStop. He is out officially now. Uh, I know people have seen him at Toys R Us and Best Buy. I'm pretty sure you can probably order him online. I don't think he's like a Welcome special edition, limited edition sort of figure that's store specific. I think you can kind of get him anywhere you, you want. So good luck. Happy hunting for Jolly Bumble Blast for Coin TV. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.